Okay, hey, so my name is Bill. Um, I'm a programmer. I run a small photography site and I collect pinball and arcade stuff. And uh, I'm talking about dome gaming. So about here's the setup. About a year ago, maybe two, I was in Atlanta, Dave and Buster's with a friend. We were stranded, played a bunch of video games, drank a bunch of Guinness, and there was this game called um, Namco Mock Storm. And it's this flight simulator. You get in it and there's this dome that wraps around you. There's wind blowing on you from fans and awesome sound. And the game makes you think you're doing a great job even if you've had too much Guinness to drink. So it was a great game. And we had a great time. Neither one of us had any regrets for how much money we poured in the thing, which I don't even know what it was. But about a year ago, Namco released on that same platform the Star Wars Battle Pod. So it's that game, Star Wars Universe. You've got the trench scenes and the speeder bike stuff through the woods. You've got all this just awesome Star Warsy stuff, right? Uh, so would love to have one started asking around. They're like $30,000. Uh, there is a $100,000 version 2 that's like a premium cabinet. They look incredible. They are incredible. But, you know, that's, I mean, yeah, I can't do that. So I thought, well, what about building something? Can I build or buy something like that's kind of cheaper um, that I could fit in my, my game room that has sort of a, a condensed space? And and so I, I looked around. There was something called the Tube F, a company called Think Out of the Box that I guess is gone now. There was something called the J-Dome, and I guess they're still around, but you can't buy the thing. I don't know why. And I just couldn't find a way to buy this um, or buy something like it. And so I looked around and decided to try to build it. Um, now, granted, mine's going to be rougher. It's not as polished and as awesome as what you would find out in an arcade. So if you find one of these things somewhere to that I think Dave & Buster's has them, Go check them out, um, and they're back ordered. I think nine months, six months, something like that. The distributors told me. So even at that thirty thousand dollar price rate, uh, price point, they're still back ordered. So they're selling, and that's great. Hopefully they'll go on arcades, and people will, you know, support Namco, and they can keep making cool things. But um, in a home use, I came up with something. I think it's pretty cool. My kids are really liking it. Hopefully you'll think it's cool too. I'm gonna show it to you. And if you have any questions at the end of this, um, you'll have information about the blog post. It'll show you how. I made this, including parts that failed, um, that are kind of funny, and, um, you know, so just reach out to me if I can help you in any way, please let me know. Okay, so here's our cabinet, and here's looking inside here, so you can see I've got the game paused right now, but I'll, uh, I'll give you the experience in a sec. I've got a, a car seat, I guess this came from a 2008 Eclipse, we went to a junkyard and pulled it, and, uh, built a, a crate that it sits on at the bottom that conceals a subwoofer. It has Eclipse Pro Media 2.1 um, speaker system I got on eBay. And a uh, projector is a Optima HD65 720p uh, that was a Craigslist find for like 200 bucks. Um, so just like the cheapest projector I could find locally that was an Optima projector because I like their stuff. Um, cabinet itself is, is, is wood construction needs a few more touch-up paint and a couple other some trim work the door is macrolon with a uh, a wood insert uh, for support and then I'm using a shower handle as the handle and then the dome itself is an acrylic sheet um, that they put on a uh, um, in an oven so if I can get it to focus here they put this thing in an oven they heat it up they cut it out in a circle put it on a table and blow forced injected air into the table, into the dome to form it. And then I painted the outside and the inside with many, many coats of paint. So anyway, here's, um, I'm gonna start, um, I'm gonna start this game here, just show you some of the uh, gameplay experience. He's mine, guys. Good, but the stick seems a little sluggish. 
All right, so I'm going to pause here, talk a little bit about what's going on in here. So at the bottom you can see there's this Tom and Jerry hole. It has a, um, a projector behind this, the dome, and it's mounted on a, on a wooden platform. <clears throat> and that's, like I said, it's an Optimo 7, uh, 720p uh, for now. And the uh, projector projects into a spherical mirror. So this is one of the safety mirrors like you would have in the corners of an office to keep people from bumping into each other and spilling coffee on the floor. And then uh, over here, and it's uh, kind of hard to see, so I'll turn on the LEDs. Um, this is a uh, just like an IKEA piece of furniture, cube furniture with an Xbox 360, a Wii U, and a PS3. And uh, underneath the seat, we have a subwoofer that's hidden. There are speakers down on the floor. This floor surround has holes in it, so there's fans in the floor that will blow in to ventilate and then also to kind of add to that effect. Now they're not tied to gameplay because we're just playing console games. Um, so a couple things that could be improved. Um, this whole this whole idea of um, the the mirror reflection deal. Um, if you're sitting here, your feet, your legs can get on the edges of the screen a little bit, so I might move the, the seat back uh, a, a bit um, or make some changes to that projection uh, trick there. And, and that trick, by the way, um, is credited to a guy named Paul Burke, or Bork, um, I'm not sure how to say his name, but uh, Paul has a great site out there that talks about um, spherical mirror projection, dome projection, planetarium applications, and everything you'd ever want to know about this sort of thing and so I give credit to him because his site is super helpful and um, that gives us a low-cost alternative to uh, fisheye projection which I'll write about on the blog post that you'll see in the comments here um, alright so I, I've zoomed out a little bit so the camera can go ultra wide and I'll um, I'll resume gameplay here for just a sec Okay, so um, anyway, I think there's some gameplay with this game. I guess it's called Ace Combat. It's an Amco title. Um, seemed like it would be well suited for this. Mario Kart 8 is really fun. And I think uh, most flight sims and racing games translate to this platform reasonably well. Um, I'm not so sure shooters would. Um, I know that Minecraft, <laughs> the kids playing Minecraft, they felt a little disoriented playing it, so they didn't play Minecraft in it long, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. So anyway, um... You know, there's our there's our gaming our gaming dome rather sorry, and uh, I think it turned out rel relatively well for a three month project without much of a plan. And uh, I thought that you guys might enjoy it too. So if there's any questions that I can help with, wherever you find this, there'll be a blog post that talks about um, how we did it in you know, painstaking detail. And uh, if there's any follow-up questions or comments or anything like that, just hit me up there on that site and uh, or in the comments where you find this video, and I'll be glad to help you in any way I can. Thanks so much for watching.